Good tidings, ladies and gentlemen of the Lodge, and welcome back. Today, we are actually going to be talking about two of my personal favorite characters in the entire Kingdom Hearts series, Lushu and Luxord. I find the parallels between Lushu and Luxord quite staggering. When you realize how much these two characters seem to have in common, it starts to make sense why they are pitted against each other in Kingdom Hearts 3 and seem to have an interesting rivalry brewing. The particular scene you see on screen is one of my all-time favorites from the series. I think Lushu and Luxord have a great chemistry, and I would not be surprised if we see more scenes like this down the road in the future of Kingdom Hearts. But without further ado, and my personal opinions aside, let's get into it and point out the parallels between Lushu and Luxord. Starting with our first parallel, Fellow Travelers. One interesting aspect about the clash of these two is the fact that they are fellow travelers from outside worlds. We know that Lushu originates from Daybreak Town. As for Luxord, we know he is currently residing in Quadratum within the Verum Rex world. Whether he was from any world before that remains to be seen. Anyway, it's cool to see in a game that focuses on traveling to other worlds that we have had two prominent members of the organization who had come here from other worlds, or in Luxor's case, a whole different side of reality. Part of what made the interactions between Lushu and Luxord so compelling is the fact that in this case, they are birds of a feather. They've both come a long way to get to where they are in Kingdom Hearts 3, and the only ones who had suspicions about them were each other. Real recognize real, as they say. Moving on to our next parallel, the long game. It should be quite clear, at least at this point, that both Lushu and Luxord are playing the long game. We know that Lushu's roots bring us all the way back to Daybreak Town and connect him with the Master of Master and the Master's agenda. As for Luxord, well, let's take his word for it. <laughs> I've always been far more interested in the long game. This is one of the aspects about both of these characters that I absolutely love. You can't look at their words and actions through the lens of instant gratification or instant results. There's more to their words and actions than meet our eyes and ears, which interestingly enough is going to lead us into our next parallel between the two characters. Concealing true identity. Both characters seem to be operating from within the shadows. In many regards, they keep many things about themselves secret, most notably their roots. So let's be real. I know I'm not the only one whose brain melted when we found out that Zigbar was Lushu all along. Talk about a 4D chess body swapping world hopping black box hiding ace move that this guy pulled off. Then. On the other hand, we have Luxord, who laid low until his very last moment, keeping his true identity and roots a secret, even when dishing Sora the wild card in the Keyblade Graveyard. This shows us that both of these characters are highly competent and know, for the most part, how to cover their tracks. Both characters' ability to make these sort of 4D chess moves makes them very exciting, and makes any prospect of a future clash between the two worth looking forward to, to say the least. The last parallel I'll bring up may very well be the most noteworthy one. Working as a right-hand man. Both Lushu and Luxord are not the captains of their own ship. On one hand we have Lushu, who's working hand-in-hand -hand with the Master of Masters. And then we have Luxord, who's working hand-in-hand -hand with Yazora. This adds a layer to both characters that is quite admirable, and that is their loyalty. Lushu obviously takes the Master's vision very seriously, enough so to carry it to fruition to the end of his role. Likewise, we have Luxord, who has been here on behalf of the Quadratum world, with Yazora as his commander. Both characters are working in a sense on behalf of someone else who is seemingly calling the shot. Lushu being the master's apprentice, and Luxord having Yazora as a commander. With all these parallels, I find it so interesting that in a sense, 
both characters hold the same place in a separate hierarchy. The parallels between Lu Xu and Luke Sword, in my opinion, have them set up to be fantastic rivals. Even if a rivalry doesn't come to fruition, the overlap between these two characters and the paths they have had to walk is really something special. And I think it's one of the reasons that this scene from Remind was so electrifying. But that's just about all I've got for you guys today. So what do you think? Are there any parallels between the two that I am missing? Do you agree that the two of them would make great rivals? Let me know! But anyway, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see all of you beautiful sickos and normies next time.